Welcome viewers, this is Winch here. Um, not bringing you any Medal of Honor Warfighter gameplay. I'm not going to burden you with that uh, subpar game. I'm going to show you a game that is enjoyable, and that is Battlefield 3. Popped this game in, I was like, oh, so good to be back. A game that's actually well made, well thought out, and just an incredible game. Uh, again, the best I've ever played in terms of first person shooters. We still have more to come. We got Aftermath DLC coming out, and we got in-game, and we got lots of content. But um, in this video, guys, uh, I'm showing you a range of uh, clips I just acquired today. Nothing uh, nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah, pretty nice little clips here again. Uh, I'll be showing more gameplay of Battlefield 3. I'm not giving up on it. I'll be showing you alternate game modes. Some I, I hear what you guys are saying about the redundancy of Team Deathmatch. And uh, I really wasn't planning on uploading the content today, but I want to put something together here again with Battlefield 3. And I will be broadcasting alternative game modes as well. But uh, still, uh, nonetheless, good gameplay. But I want to talk about Medal of Honor Warfighter, and uh, I just got lit up. <laughs> I mean, dislike big time with my last video about my review of Medal of Honor Warfighter. And I had people unsubbing uh, and, and just raising cane with me. And just, you know, you're out of line, Winshear. You know, hey guys, I'm passionate about what I speak about, and uh, I was upset. And I still am. I'm still scorned from, from Medal of Honor Warfighter. And a lot of you are in denial. And, you know, I was one of the first to say it, that that game was a disaster. And, um, you know, I, I really did give it a shot at first, thinking, okay, maybe I just need to be a little more patient with it. Uh, and uh, maybe it'll come around with me. But at this one point in that day, the first day I played it, I said no. This is it. I'm done with it. It's a horrible game, and I'm producing a review saying that. And uh, again, I got lots of negative comments. Not all of them were negative, though. A lot of people agreed with me. But I've never had one video before that had just such a massive amount of commentary uh, on it in terms of viewer response. I mean, it was it's in the hundreds right now. Um, now I've got um, we've had some time now, and uh, since. EA didn't make the game available to mainstream uh, reviewers out there in video game companies because of, quote, a patch release that had to be released prior to uh, the release of the game. Well, look at this little moment, huh? Get some. Um, but now the reviews are starting to stream in. And again, I wouldn't point out moments like this. I slowed this down. Look at destructibility. Isn't this just beautiful? Do you have this in Medal of Honor Warfighter? No, you don't. Uh, but uh, the reviews are starting to roll in, and I just want to cover a few of them. And I'm not here to rub <laughs> anything in anybody's face. I'm not here to say, I told you so, guys. But, I, you know, I just Googled real quick uh, Medal of Honor Warfighter review, and look what popped up. Now, the main big ones, like IGN and GameSpot, which I'm really curious to see what they're going to say, haven't rolled out. But the guys that don't really have any kind of a political uh, affiliation, if you will, in terms of, uh, you know, I think sometimes the reviews of those two previous companies I mentioned, GameSpot and IGN, are somewhat politicized. Um, again, case in point, Modern Warfare 3, how the community hated that game, and uh, somehow that game got a good review on those two gaming websites. But let's start off with Eurogamer.net, 5 out of 10. Oh, man. And I quote, even at best, Warfighter's multiplayer is only ever pretty good. Hampered as it's by the same rough edges that blight the campaign. Ugh. And boy, every reviewer I saw, look at this little clip. I know you want to see that again in slow motion. Drop it like it's all, drop it like it's all. That's right, M27. I mean, look, just a few bullets here and there with the bipod up. I mean, who needs, uh, you know, 100 rounds or 200 rounds in a magazine? As you know, somebody mentioned to me before, throw a bipod on the M27 if you're not going to run a grip on anymore. I'm like, yeah, um, yeah, uh, dumbass. <laughs> uh, excuse me, yeah, that, I don't know what I was thinking, but yes, throw a bipod on it. That is a good loadout. M27, bipod, heavy barrel, and it's on. Second review, let's mention videogamer.com. Five out of ten as well. I mean, really, guys? Five out of ten? This much hype we're getting these kind of views? And I quote, War Warfighter never stood a chance, and its deep schism between intended tone and actual design feels even more comically tragic now than it did when the original reboot two years ago. Oh, I mean, those words are harsh, guys. I mean, you know, again, they're just... They're, 
they're saying that the whole the whole realism aspect of this game, what it was founded on, again, you know, soliciting the the help of you know the you know the uh, Navy SEALs or you know whatever tier operations, special forces, you know, they're they're in there, and I remember reading, you know about how they're you know consulting them how to properly r get the reload animation on a gun down right and uh you know they're just all meticulous about that i'm like oh yeah you know they're really doing their r homework on this project and uh, you know i think it's going to have a lot of potential to be good no in fact that's the whole joke of it is is what the uh the, basically the, the professionals are saying um it's just comical and, and apparently the campaign is just deplorable in terms of it's it's really poor uh, relations to trying to relate to the the characters and the development and the acting and and the, you know there's just the sequences that says shoot this or do this it's very uh, very rigid it's I mean at least they say with Call of Duty you have some smoke and mirrors to kind of you know fool you into thinking you're in you know uh, an intensive game battle but they don't even attempt to do that with Warfighter uh, digitaltrends.com six and a half out of ten uh, and I quote there campaign is a Quote, unrestrained mess. Ugh, I mean, just, just bad, gentlemen. And the last review is from GameInformer.com. 5 out of 10 again. That's three scores the same. 5 out of 10. I mean, I would never even... A, a, if I would just waited a day or two, which is what I should have, and again, I, I blame myself for this, but if I would have seen these scores, I wouldn't even have hesitated to say no to this game. Uh, because you take, gotta take these seriously. In fact, this one I just want to say, uh, and I'm gonna coin the the title of this uh, video, uh, this uh, phrase, "Medal of Awful" is what they say. And uh, the quote here is: "The uninspired campaign, even multiplayer execution, and rampant presence of glitches undermine Medal of Honor. If Danger Close keeps executing this poorly." This once loved series will be dangerously close to being put in a casket. I mean, deplorable, gentlemen. I'm, I mean, I'm very disappointed in myself. I'm sorry all of us got taken for a ride on this one. You know, I, I got taken for a ride on the game before Battlefield 3, which was uh, Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3. And, uh, you know, I, I paid $100 for the Call of Duty Elite version. Um, you know, maybe this is what I just need to do with Black Ops next. Uh, you know, if I'm even considering, you know, and it's, I know it's really difficult for me too, guys, to even think about going back to Call of Duty game. But you know what? I can't do Battlefield 3 forever, even though as much as I love this game. As a YouTube developer, I gotta stay fresh with my content and offer what, a little bit at least, what the mainstream. I gotta keep up with the times. I can't be a dinosaur on here and keep up with the same content all the time. So I, I gotta consider playing Black Ops 2. It looks a little interesting. I'm looking forward to a different type of genre where we have a futuristic shooter. Uh, but uh, this is the, the, the or the summary of the story here is, guys, is that, you know. Uh, I said I, I I spoke it like it was. It probably wasn't a very uh, intelligent review that I put out, but it was more emotional than anything, uh, than uh, evidence. But uh, I think I got it right. Again, I'll have more content to come. The, there's games coming out. Bear with me. My channel's a limbo, but I'll still be putting out Battlef Th Battlefield 3 content and other content to come. Please like and subscribe to the video. Thanks for watching, guys.